Welcome to the Open Storybox Project. I'm Sue Davis from Central Queensland University. And I'm John Saunders from the Sydney Theatre Company. I'm Cathy Bauer and I'm a lecturer at CQ University at Noosa. I'm an early childhood teacher out of the classroom and now working in the university sector. Uh, Hi, I'm Hannah Brown and I'm currently the Education Projects Officer at the Sydney Theatre Company and was previously the Head of Drama at a school in Brisbane. So the idea with this project was that we would create a professional learning program and packages of materials. Sue and I were really interested in working with uh, drama, um, both having a drama background and building on our professional learning program at the Sydney Theatre Company called School Drama. School mm -hmm. Drama is a teacher professional learning program that combines drama based pedagogy to improve student literacy and we wanted to apply the learnings that we had from that program uh, to environmental sustainability. There's often a focus in schools on written literacy, but of course um, oral literacy is, is the beginnings of literacies. And then with um, oral presentation and, and when we're talking to others, there's usually another audience present. But often with written communication, there's no audience present. So a kid's just sort of writing and often they're writing in a vacuum. So one of the benefits of using drama is that the kids actually have an audience present, you know, even if it's another student and, and the teacher, and they're getting that immediate feedback and they're testing out ideas and rehearsing them. And what often happens then is when you go to do written work afterwards, the kids can't wait. Yeah, students are engaging in and out of role uh, and they're taking on those characters, whether they're being hot seated or interviewed, um, whether they're improvising, they're taking on different roles and learning language and uh, mimicking those characters, um, which is helping develop their vocabulary. Our research suggests that um, when we're comparing the pre-program and post-program student written work, that their vocabularies are increasing, that the way that they're able to describe and depict things are, are increasing as well. So I guess what we've learned through our experiences is that through drama and the arts, you can make learning much more engaging for students because they actually have Experience. We learn through doing in drama, which is really significant to this project, uh, because the way that we can introduce a respect and appreciation for the environment is not by scaring young students. We can't introduce the concept of global warming and environmental sustainability through climate change and, and the doom and gloom associated with climate change. Uh, we needed to bring it back to its fundamentals, I suppose, of, of humanity and looking at um, what connects us. Um, so one of the ways into looking at these issues with children is actually through understanding um, place and looking at where we live, who else lives in and what other creatures live in that environment and building that sort of knowledge and connection with place and from that then hopefully they will come to care more about um, looking after the places that we live in. The project is going to be of course responding to the actual storybook but then actually recreating a version of the story in their own landscape, in their own environment. And that's going to be really interesting, I think. Yeah, I think so too. I'm excited to see what happens. You know, we're building on those mapping skills, on, mm. on telling a story and really looking at what is around us. And we don't often really look at, at, at what is immediately in front of us. Um, but also, I'm interested to see the contrast between mm. the schools who are based in Sydney and the schools that are based up here in, yeah. in Noosa, yeah. um, and, and that difference between looking at you know the Sydney Harbour and very urban areas, and up here we've got this gorgeous beach, uh, beautiful rainforest, <laughs> bush. Well, the bush up here. Yeah. 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 Early childhood teachers have a long tradition of using open, flexible environments and play-based learning as as a pedagogy in their classrooms. Although this is becoming increasingly difficult with the crowded curriculum that we now experience in our classrooms. We have many masters, we have the Australian curriculum, we have early childhood curriculum documents and different approaches to learning. The Sydney Theatre Company ha um, has a strong commitment to valuing the environment and the world around us and in particular through sustainability. This was first initiated by the company through the Greening the Wharf project which saw everyone in the company play their part in uh, making the company a more greener environment. So this could be something as small as double-sided printing to something really large like we put solar panels on the roof of the wharf. Also passionate about creating high quality and rich resources for students and for teachers. 
um, and we hope that this also resonates through the Open Story Box project. Inside this box is featured, of course, our focus text, The Long Way Home by Emily Rodder and illustrated by Danny Snell. Um, the box also, thank you Kathy, the box also features um, beautifully graphic design masks, thank you, as well as postcard resources, as well as uh, finger puppets, mm -hmm. as well as other small artefacts that belong within the world of the book. So things like feathers, gum nuts and shells. Thank you everyone for joining us in the Open Story Box project. We look forward to working with you over the next period of time. We hope that through the Open Story Box project you and your students have learnt in, through and about drama and the arts and using drama and the arts for real learning. We also hope that the three groups involved, that's the Central Queensland University, the Sydney Theatre Company and all of the teachers who are working with us can learn from each other and we will look forward to that collaboration. Hmm. And of course what we're all hoping for is better learning and better outcomes and experiences for our students and of course that all contributes to a better future for us all. So thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.